Hi, I'm John, the anti-poverty engineer Termel, and last week I registered in the Halliburton Kawartha Lakes Brock by-election, where the leader of the Tories is trying to get a seat, and uh, this is my program I'm handing out in Lindsay, which also includes the article on Argentine provinces issuing bonds to pay all their employees when they ran out of money, something we should do too. So, there are some interesting candidates connected to unions who could be pushed to demand to have these interest-free bonds pay their employees, and John Tory, who could end up in the legislature as leader of party, will get a chance to see if he's going to be a girly man or he's going to be a macho man governor, because we have Roberto Romero paid all his employees, found a way. We've got girly man Arnold Schwarzenegger in California, hasn't found a way. And so far, McGinty and Tory don't know the way. But this is an opportunity to show them the way. Cash-starved Argentine provinces turning out their own money by Andres Oppenheimer, Knight Ritter Newspapers, Miami. Two remote Argentine provinces short of cash to pay public employees have come up with an easy solution. They're printing their own money to the chagrin of national and international banking authorities. We are paying all our public employees with provincial bonds, Roberto Romero, governor of the northern Argentine provinces of Salta, said in a telephone interview. He said Salta started printing its own IOUs because it wasn't getting federal currency fast enough. People can change these bonds for money at any bank, Romero said. They can use them to shop at supermarkets and to buy cars or any other products. After Salta started quietly issuing its IOUs in September last year, the nearby province of La Bioya started printing its own bonds, too. Four other Argentine provinces have either begun adopting similar programs or are preparing to do so. In all cases, the bonds are good only within the province where they're issued. Bull will be taken in any neighborhood community because they know they can be spent back there. The bonds are printed in Salta, come in denominations of 10, 100, 1,000 australes, the same as ordinary Argentine currency bills. They pay no interest and can be either exchanged for Argentine currency or used to buy goods. Romero of the opposition Peronist party and officials of the other provinces claim their bonds are not really new currencies because they're no, no good outside their provinces. Well, yes, they are. We should do it too. King of the Poppers in Halliburton, Kawartha Lakes, Brock. Who? Johnny Engineer, bank fighter extraordinaire, great Canadian gambler, Taj Professor, anti-poverty engineer, Robin Hood, Atlas Shrugnaut, Spartacus at Babylon, Termel. YouTube.com slash King of the Poppers, index at JohnTermel.com slash KOTP.htm. So this is including my list of uh, events, but I'm mentioning who, Unilet's anti-poverty engineer, what, show the money video on how Argentina used time creditos, community currency, and small denomination provincial bonds to beat the bank collapse, hoping to coordinate with the Peterborough Let's to set up an area-wide community currency barter time bank as economic lifeboats to survive the financial depression like Argentina did. Uh, of course, here it is, the Argentina story on the back there for them to hear how it was done. How? Do it yourself. Unilets barter time banking. Then another angle. Who? Medpod engineer. In December 2003, forced the Crown to drop 4,000 marijuana possession charges after being arrested on Parliament Hill in May 2003 with a life sentence. Seven pounds of marijuana for the purpose of trafficking, a pound to the Prime Minister, a pound to the Justice Minister, a pound to the Supreme Court, dot, dot, dot. To prove the prohibition on possession had become invalid on Terry Parker Day, August 1, 2001, causing Prime Minister Kajian to call off the new legislation that would have newly enacted the invalidated prohibition until Parliament ended and the reprohibition bill died and was never again legislated. What? Fighting marijuana charges and overturning marijuana convictions between August 1, 2001, John Turmel's Terry Parker Day, when the court declared the law became invalid, and October 7, 2003, Alan Young's Hitzig Day, when the court says it was resurrected. Why? Cannabis is the safest brain cell growing, cancer killing, disease preventing, non toxic herb on the planet. How? Do it yourself legal forms at johntermel.com slash medpot.htm. Then about running in the election at the riding officer getting registered. Why do I want to run? To use a time based currency to decriminalize victimless crime. Gamblers have a right to play, shy and less attractive people have a right to get laid, and all have right to drugs of their informed choice. 
How? Pay government employees with small denomination provincial bonds instead of pay cuts and set up Unilet's time standard of money online barter bank for the writing. Slogan for personal and financial freedom. I want cops out of gambling, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I want the usury off loans, pay cash or time, no dole. And then I mentioned I was going to Ottawa to picket Obama, and then I'd be coming back for the well, the debate tonight at IE Weldon Secondary School, and then there's a Saturday debate at 2 o'clock at the Lindsay Legion Hall. And uh, I remember at the time I did a post at my blog, I went over to John Tory's website, and John Tory is the leader of the Ontario Conservatives, who lost his seat in the last general election, and therefore for a Tory member resigned, opening it up for a by-election where the leader of the party can get in. That's standard practice, even if he doesn't live in the riding. But when I went over to his events website, it was empty, nothing. So I did a post saying that, hey, John Tory ought to have the right to be in these debates too, and I'll fight for his right not to be excluded. Even though the last time I ran against him in a by-election where he first got in three, four years ago, I was excluded from three debates and nobody fought for my right to get in. So anyway, this is John Tory's website. And uh, for instance, typical politics, he says, Tory fights for equality. Fighting against whom? Who doesn't want equality in health care? And then the next article, it's about jobs. Well, that's right. What about jobs? You got any money? It's about paychecks. And let's get to work. We've got a job to do, he says. Well, yeah, but how are you going to pay people for it? He's got no money either. So this is the Tory candidate. And then we have the liberal candidate, Rick Johnson, local candidate to champion local interests. And he's a school board chair, Rick Johnson. Well, we'll be able to tell him about how government employees are paid with bonds in Argentina. Maybe he can take the idea back to the school board. He's committed to fighting well, for good stuff. Well, fighting against whom? Who's fighting for the bad stuff? And he wants to create jobs and attract investment to grow our local economy. So he doesn't have any money, but he's going to go looking for it. And uh, so that's basically it. There's the liberal, <clears throat> the NDP, uh, no damn paycheck. Uh, she's a tough negotiator and a determined fighter for what's right. Against whom? You know, who's fighting for what's wrong? So anyway, she wants to represent... And she works for the City of Kawartha Lakes Emergency Medical Services, president of QP Local 855. Well, lady, will you take some provincial bonds instead of a pay cut? And finally, she wants, on March the 5th, send a message to John Tory that, what, they got a new idea? No, he can't take us for granted. And a message to Dalton McGinty, the premier, that, what, a new idea? No, what he's doing isn't enough. Okay, vote for the NDP because the other guys are no good. And the Green Party candidate, Mike Schreiner, um, and he's eager to debate, farmer advocate, and uh, he's eager to debate. I don't debate, I bet. I say, I'm right, I got cash, and when they all back down, there's no debate. People don't like debating with me, you know. Flash the cash, bye-bye trash. And finally, now the newspaper reports. Five other candidates want your vote. And this was posted by Jen Watt from the uh, Halliburton Echo, the newspaper where they had the first debate last week where I didn't go because I didn't get an invitation. No call, no email, nothing. And uh, there are nine candidates running in the by-election besides the big four. There are five who have unique platforms looking for votes. Here's a brief summary of those candidates, what they stand for. Jason Taylor in Independent. He was insulted that John Tory would run in a riding that isn't his home. So vote for him. He's an average guy who wants to eliminate government waste and assert conservative values with an average program. Doing nothing good. And uh, local jobs is what they need. Yes, local paychecks he don't know about. So then Bill Denby, Freedom Party. And he basically says his job creation plan includes implementing a contract-based milk export plan. Revitalizing the horse industry and developing highways. Where's he going to get the cash? Jake Puffar, Family Coalition Party, wants you to support family values. John Termel, 
Termel holds the Guinness Book of World Records title for the most elections contested. He's run in 68 times, lost 67. The other election was canceled. Though he doesn't think he'll win the election, he wants to spread the word about a time bond system that could replace the current monetary system. I'm spreading the word about saving the riding with a barter currency system, he said. Termel talks about swapping time in a barter system and eliminating debt altogether. No, 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 no. I'll pay my debt. I just want to eliminate the interest on the debt. I'll pay the social credit portion of the debt, the money I got, but I'm stiffing them for the interest, the anti-social credit portion of the debt that I didn't get. So, youtube.com slash king of the poppers. Good girl. Send them into the place. And the Libertarian Party's Paolo Fabrizio. I want to see the system get help. Well, here I am, the system's engineer. People should not depend on government. Well, why not? If it's good government. Why should we vote for him? I'm 36. I got boyish good looks. Does that help? No.